Training models is one part of the equation. Another important part is using the model in inference. It's the process in which you provide data in a model in order to get a prediction or an analysis, essentially reaping the rewards of all that hard work you put into training a model. As data comes in, you want to be able to quickly transform and enrich it and obtain results from the model. This means building a streaming or real-time pipeline that can handle this, one that is simple, robust, and scalable. Building your own solution for a real-time inference pipeline can be difficult or time-consuming. You need to consider a lot of different things to make things efficient and scalable. You often need to write a lot of code to handle the model objects. You may also need to ensure you properly handle memory management. Without using a framework, you need to build your own solution. This requires you to consider both the hardware and the software side. There are many permutations of such, but determining an optimized solution is often difficult. Adding parallelism to the equation complicates it further. When doing inference in a parallelized manner, you are often memory constrained. Given one or more models, you can have one of three possible options. You can fit many copies of your models into memory. You can fit a single copy of each of your models into memory. You have multiple models and can only fit a subset of them into memory at once. Additionally, when you're building a parallelized processing platform, you need to consider how to efficiently scale it out. You may build many identical pipelines in parallel, but cannot share data easily in between them. Creating a complex system to handle such tasks requires many considerations. This is where Apache Beam, a framework for data processing, can help. Beam has many components to help with data processing at scale. Beam pipelines are written as directed acyclic graphs, or DAGs. They help you move data in a deterministic and robust way, allowing you to understand relationships between pieces of data and their states. In your DAG, each step is called a p-transform. Each step performs one or more actions on your data. One such p-transform is the run inference transform, which is a turnkey transform. Turnkey transforms aim to reduce the amount of code you need to write to achieve your goal. The run inference p-transform handles the prediction for you with the help of the model handler object. We load in a Gemma model using a key model handler. Gemma is a family of lightweight state-of-the-art open models from Google. We chose here to use Keras. However, you can use many different types of APIs such as PyTorch or your favorite API of choice. Let's build our pipeline. This example is a streaming pipeline that reads from PubSub and passes the prompt into the next step, the run inference p-transform, which uses the model handler we created above. The results are then parsed out and outputted. We chose to output to PubSub to demonstrate, but you can continue processing or send the data payload elsewhere. With Beam, you can have multiple inputs and multiple outputs for various steps in your pipeline. Multiple inputs and outputs usually means collating or sharding out the steps. One way to organize the steps and pipelines is to use keys. BeamML has a wrapper around the model handler, keyed model handler, that allows you to use keys to determine what to do with that piece of data tagged with a key. You can also use Dataflow to further simplify your deployment. Dataflow is a fully managed streaming analytics service that executes pipelines written with the open source Apache Bean framework. Dataflow can help solve many of the architectural and scaling problems described. Let's dissect what's going on in the backend to help understand how this helps. Beam introduced a model manager class. This class is responsible for loading and unloading the model. Let's say worker1 requests a model from the model manager. If the requested model is not loaded, model manager loads the model into a dedicated process. The reference to the model is then returned to the worker. The worker can then send the data to the model's process and performs the inference. The results are returned to the worker which now can be used in subsequent transforms. Your parallelism is equal to the number of models you load onto that machine. You can configure the number of models you want to load. Using Dataflow also helps you manage your resources as well. Dataflow can use write fitting to make sure you utilize your resources optimally. Write fitting is when you are able to select specifications for each particular step of your pipeline, allowing you to be efficient with your resources, providing robust execution without overspending on GPUs or memory. 
These features let you combine the powerful data processing capabilities of Dataflow and perform inference on that data with Beam's simplified model handler and run inference pTransform. That's it for now. Click the links below to learn more. There are notebooks that you can regularly deploy and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.